morning guys it is monday a new weekly vlog and welcome to my channel i don't usually look like this but i woke up this morning had a shower tidied my room and now i'm just waiting for my flatmate to wake up so i can hoover as well so i'm just doing this face mask just waiting for it to dry a little bit more got my breakfast two meatball subs meatball subs meatball sandwiches found swedish meatballs in sainsbury's yesterday and they taste just like home i thought because i start at one o'clock today I don't have to leave my house for another four hours. I'm gonna eat this quickly, get ready, straighten my hair, put my makeup on, which hopefully gets me ready by nine o'clock. And then at nine, I'll go down to, there's a Primark, there's a Wilco. I think there's a Boots down there. There's an Aldi down there and there's a TK Maxx. And I'm just gonna see if I can find some of the things that I need for med sailors. So I'm going to on med sailors next week. So this may be the last weekly vlog until after I've been to Greece. Okay, we're here. First stop, TK Maxx. Let's see what they have. Jenny just walked in and completely blanked what I needed to buy. This is what I need. I found a shirt, but it's 35 pounds. And not something I can justify buying today. Um, I'm just having a wee look at the shoes, but still, I don't think there's anything. I kind of want to get boots like this for like autumn, winter, like lace up ones. These are actually quite nice. Only 40 pounds. Actually, quite nice. But yeah, no, I can't justify buying anything like this now i'm sticking to my list and not buying anything else and then when i come back from greece like probably my september pay i'll uh go autumn winter shopping and do just like one spree and then that's it for like the year unless i get some like christmas stuff and things like that and last stop primark only going in here for like accessories and stuff not actually gonna buy any clothes Okay. Something like this. Clearly, wrong time of year for the type of accessory I want. But I found these rings, just gold rings, they got like little leaves, kind of like them. Shopping area now is five past eleven, so I thought I'd just come home and I made myself some hot dogs, and then I. It's just gonna eat that and then head into like Oxford Street and then I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna go in Lush to see if they have any like shampoo and conditioner bars because I'm going on med sailors. I want to be more environmentally friendly there because when we shower the water just goes straight into the ocean so we don't want to pollute the ocean more than we already do. So I just thought I'd show you what I got. I actually put the rings back in the plan mark and I only got another one of these and these are 90p. I probably should get bigger ones than like the tiny ones because they do run out a lot faster and it's more plastic. And then in Wilco, I got the Got To Be Oilicious Tame and Shine Styling Oil for instantly sleek and glossy styles. And this is with Argan Oil. So yeah, it's just this one here and this is like a 50 mil, so I can put that in my carry-on. And then I got a tiny little toothpaste. This is good for traveling, so what's going on in my... And then I got a little anti-back hand gel because I'll just put that in my bag because I don't have one. And London is freaking dirty. And then I got another nail varnish remover because mine is slowly running out. It's now almost six o'clock and I'm just home from work. As I said earlier, I went like into central London just before work to buy a few things to cross off my list for med sailors. And I got one thing that is actually for med sailors and then I bought something else that I didn't really need. But so I went into Lush and for the first time ever I actually bought something from Lush. So for men sailors they do recommend taking like environmentally friendly products. So I got this soap um, like bar or the shampoo and conditioner bar. And just because I know it's gonna get super messy, I got the little tin for it as well. So the actual soap or the shampoo was eight pounds and then the little tin was £2.50. Then I was in TK Maxx and as I've been watching a lot of Zoella lately 
I think she's got fake glasses, but she's got Ray-Bans, which are quite expensive. And they had a pair of fake glasses, but they were 40 pounds, and I was like, I'm not paying 40 pounds. And I don't know, but I thought I, I suited them. I don't know, I thought they were kind of cool, but I don't know now. So I've woken up at 5 a.m. today, and I'm actually awake and ready to go. Well, not ready, but I'm gonna make myself ready to go. Because I picked up a 7 a.m. ship today just to make some more cash rooms. Um, because I do really want to buy a camera within the next three months, and the camera is like £1,800. Home from work now. It was a very good day. Started at 7, it is now 20 to 5. So, all the good. I do feel though that I am beginning to get ill. So, I feel like a cold is coming on. So I've got a few remedies for that. So annoying though, but I mean like it's better it's coming now than like this time next week when there's literally like two days before I leave. But I have done a few purchases today. I've got this and then I got Tesco shopping. So I was a weekday because I have my Ray-Bans as you've seen, my blue ones. As much as I love them, sometimes you just want to wear something else. And I did buy a pair of sunglasses when I was in Ireland. After I bought them, I didn't really like them. So I've been scrolling the interwebs. The, uh, I was on ASOS and they had one pair from Monkey that I liked and then another pair from Weekday. So I just popped into Weekday and I bought these, which I thought were pretty cool. And they will go really well like in autumn because they are a little bit more autumn -y. They're just a little bit too big for what I wanted. I kind of wanted a little bit tinier, but they will do. They were 12 pounds. So yeah, because I'm being ill, I went into Tesco. This looks like a massive bag, but most of this is not for me. And you know when you feel ill or like you're tired and you just like feel sorry for yourself, so try and like get some tasty food. So I got a like half a baguette thing. I saw this. I figured I shouldn't buy like a full size one because it is just me. But I did get some camembert. I also bought some ramen noodles for tomorrow because I'm like, if you're ill, you kind of want some noodles. I bought some coleslaw for tonight because I was going to have meatball sandwiches. And then like literally when I came home, I was like, why did I buy this if I'm going to have camembert? But you can't have too much bread. I bought some oranges just for my uh, senses. I got a lemon that I'm just going to do some like honey lemon tea. And then I also bought high strength and vitamin C. Then the bad boys at the bottom of this bag are not just for me, but I did buy Christmas chocolates because they're only four pounds in Tesco and they don't expire until next year. So I bought this, I'm gonna put them on my shelf up there um, and then I'm gonna give them to my mum when I see her in a couple of weeks and she'll take these home. Last year I had three of these because I had a celebration as well that I had to take in my suitcase for Christmas on my way home and let me tell you that suitcase was full and I also had presents for like eight people so thankfully my mum is in London in a couple of weeks so she's gonna take these home and they were only four pounds each so gaffo bargain I love these look at that tiny little there. I haven't had like this type of cheese in a long time but oh that is so gooey and nice that wasn't even in shot but look at that oh my god Good morning guys, I look like this today and I'm ill. I'm officially ill. I have a, what, the beginning of a cold, I believe. Got like, kind of like a foggy head. Not super like snotty nose, but I can feel it coming. So I'm trying my best to try and get rid of this as fast as I can because I leave for Greece in less than two weeks. And I went to bed at 9 p.m. last night. And to get me to fall asleep last night, I kind of accidentally signed up for Audible myself. So I got a free uh, one month trial, which gives you one book to listen to. So I downloaded this book called The Beekeeper of Aleppo, I believe, uh, and uh, started listening to that yesterday. And the good thing about Audible is that you can have a, uh, a sleep timer so that it doesn't like read through the entire book while you're sleeping. So I set the timer on like 25 minutes literally fell asleep within 10 minutes. So I've been up since seven, it's currently like nine, it's 10 to nine. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna wait an hour and see what the rush tickets will come from away. Afternoon's showing, so at 2.30. Cause I'm like, I was gonna go for a run today, but because I'm ill, I don't wanna make it worse, so I'm not gonna go for a run. 
but I also didn't want to like lie in bed all day. So I was like, I'll go to the theater, it's 25 pounds. I'm also going to the theater on Saturday. I'm going to see um, Witches on Saturday, which is very exciting. So yeah, that's that's the plan for now. So I got tickets to see uh, Come From Away today. So I booked the 2.30 show in. So I'm gonna go to that. Kind of regretting booking these tickets for the theater now because I feel so like, I feel like I've got a fever in my head, but I'm gonna go anyway because I paid for these tickets and I really wanna see the show. So I'm gonna go in now, it's like one o'clock. The show starts at 2.30, so I'm gonna get my tickets and just get in and sit down on like around two o'clock-ish and then, yeah, I'm gonna go Boots, get some Vicks. I've never had Vicks, but like the one that you stick in your nose. I've never had that one before, so I'm gonna try that. I just stopped in Starbucks before the gig. It's not even a gig, it's a theater for mint tea and a banana look. Because I was kind of hungry, even though I had so much before I left. And the tea is just for my cold. It's now five o'clock and I'm home from the theater. I feel a little bit more ill than I did before, which probably just means I shouldn't have gone to the theater while ill. Here we are, Come From Away was so good. Oh my God, it was amazing. I kind of cried in the end. It wasn't even the sad bit, but you know when you kind of get a little, a little emotional? Yeah, that happened. Um, I'm just gonna have some beef ramen noodles. And then I bought lemon and ginger tea. And then I bought some grapes. And I've seen people put these in the freezer. So I thought I'd try that as well. It's going to take a lot of makeup to make me look alive. Hello. I told you. Can look more alive. Currently on a day two of this damn cold. So again, I have a cup of tea. This is uh, lemon and ginger from Tesco. It is five o'clock. No, it's six o'clock. Oh my God. I just come home from work. I've got the next two days off. It's kind of my weekend. Um, and tomorrow I have nothing planned. Sorry, I'm gonna go see Waitress at like 2.30. I have nothing else planned. I don't think there's anything I need to buy. Um. I'm gonna do all my laundry and like pack my bag for med centers. So I know I'm packing, I know that everything fits. And then on Monday after work, I'm gonna go and uh, buy my GoPro. This chicken and sweet pork soup from Tesco is, you get two portions for one pound 50. I'm watching Stranger Things. Um, I'm on episode five. I kind of decided not to uh, film my reactions anymore. Uh, as I mentioned like yesterday, I don't know what to do with my other channel yet. Uh, I'm gonna put it on hold until after Grace at least. Um, but yeah, I'm just watching Stranger Things and it's so freaking good. I'm so happy I started watching it because it's freaking amazing. I just kind of have to like watch a couple of episodes I think. It's only 8 o'clock now so I might watch one or two episodes. Um, I am off tomorrow so I'm just gonna, like I've been going to bed at 9. So I might just go to bed at 9 today, so I'm not super tired today though. So I might go to bed at 9 or 10 and then just sleep, not setting an alarm, just sleeping and trying to get this cold to disappear. Good morning, it is Friday today, it is like 7 o'clock I believe. Yeah, it's 10 to 7. I woke up at 4 a.m. <laughs> um, and then I kind of forced myself to go back to sleep. But I've been going to bed at like 9, 9.30 the past couple of days just to get rid of my cold. The cold has called me from here to here and now it's slowly getting into here and this is where it gets the most annoying. I also froze some um, grapes. So I've seen a lot of people freeze grapes. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Big mistake, I put the entire box of grapes in there and while they're good, I'm not someone who usually bites into ice lollies, so I like to suck these until they get a little bit more warm and then I bite in, bite in them. I was just lying there thinking I'm not going to do anything today and then maybe I should go for a walk or something and then it hit me. I have a driver's license today. 
I drive today. I completely forgot about driving. That's at four, I believe. Four to five. Ugh. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some laundry now. It is only 8.30 in the morning and <laughs> it feels like I've been awake for like 10 hours, which I know I haven't. Um, but yeah, it feels like I've been awake for a long time. Breakfast has been served. I've made ham and coleslaw. Oh my god, my leg is itching. Coleslaw sandwiches. I cut them into pieces just like my granny does um, because I pretty much just eat ham and coleslaw sandwiches at her house. I also got a rice <laughs> pudding thing from uh, Miller and I've also got another tea. I need to change this. So if you have any cool sayings I can put on there instead. Let me know and I will uh, change it. James Blunt has released his tour dates and I can't go to any of them. I'm so annoyed. Uh, I was so excited because his, his tour starts in February and I'm like, oh my God, he'll play on my birthday. He is playing on my birthday, but in Glasgow and my birthday is on a Wednesday. What is also gonna happen around my birthday is that uh, on the weekend after my birthday, my sister's coming here and we're gonna go see Peter Evan Hansen, which we've been waiting for for a really long time. We booked the tickets and everything. Shut up, I'm trying to tell my vlog something. And he's damn come and release the only dates that are close to me, so like, um, Birmingham, no, Brighton and Cardiff are on that weekend that my sister is here and then he's not doing London until April and I'm like, do I really, like, the tour is going to run through and then the London gig is his last gig and I don't want to do that. Oh, I was so excited and now I'm really stressed. Oh, I hate ticket stress. But it seems like I will be going to more than one gig next year. Uh, so I already got tickets to Walking Head Assume I got those tickets last week. And now we're gonna try and get tickets for James Blunt. By the way, his new single, Cold, is really, really good. As I reviewed it to my friend, it's depressing yet uplifting. And that is pretty much what I feel <laughs> these videos are sometimes. Just my life in general, depressing but uplifting. You know when you start thinking about food and you can't stop thinking about food? No matter what you do, you just can't stop thinking about it. That's me at this very moment in time. So I'm gonna make my noodles now. I think it's only like 12 o'clock because I'm probably going to have to uh, eat something more just before my driving lesson. But my drive instructor changed our location, which is really good because that just means it takes less time to get to where my lesson is. Thank you, Dad. Who is it? Are we come to my favorite moment in time, and that is to pack my bag to go traveling. So what I'm gonna do right now, I do have a few things uh, lined up and hanging up out there as you saw. So some of those things are actually coming with me to Greece. But I thought <laughs> I'm not really doing anything with my life today because for the 55th for the 55th time of this vlog I'm ill. So I'm literally just lying in bed watching Zoella Vlogmas 2018. So I thought why not go through what I've already put in my suitcase <coughs> uh, for my travels and see what else I need to put in there. I am officially back from my driving lesson so I'm going to look into booking driving test dates in October-ish. I also have a bit of work to do but I also treated myself to Something just vibrated on my butt. I don't know what that was. Treat myself to some sushi. I also got a katsu curry, like a chicken katsu curry from Wasabi. Um, it was on the discount in uh, Sainsbury's. It was only three, <coughs> three pound fifty. As you saw, I did a little bit of packing, pre-packing, as I call it. I've worked out. I have eleven outfits for seven days, which might be a little bit extreme. I've never been a person to like plan outfits, but I've got like three pairs of shorts and I just lined up the shirts that I'd wear with them so I know kind of like if I need to bring these shorts or not. Okay, I've eaten way too much food today. I've had two ham and coleslaw sandwiches, one rice pudding, 
um, one packet of noodles, one portion of soup, and half a bread roll for that. And now nine pieces of sushi and a chicken katsu curry. And all I've done, I've literally walked 2,400 steps today. All I've done is lie in bed. Oh, I don't feel like it. It's just like, because I'm so used to going to the gym and stuff. It's fine if I eat like this like once a week, but now that I haven't been to the gym, I'm going to check the last time I was at the gym. My last workout was on Sunday. And it's Friday today. I'm still ill. <laughs> So I'm just about to go see Waitress and I've ended up in a um, anti-Brexit protest. So I just have to cross there and then we'll be in. All the chocolate salted caramel or the lemon and raspberry. Um, can I have the... Uh... from having seen Waitress. It was really, really good. I got one of their uh, pies just before the thing started. It was actually really, really good. It was seven pounds, so it was kind of expensive for such a tiny little pie. Um, but yeah, I went to see Waitress and it was really, really good. In the beginning, I was like, the, the singing was really, really loud, so I couldn't really hear what they were singing. Um, but I got a few of these guest checks with me home because I thought they were cute. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have bre breakfast, dinner now. Okay, dinner is done and I was thinking about getting like a Shake Shack while I was in like Covent Garden and then I was like, no, that's a little bit too unhealthy. And then I got home and I was like, there's a Greek place close to where I live and I was like, I can go have Greek food like a week from in Greece. But then I'm like, no, that's too expensive. So I went into I went into Tesco and I was looking at frozen food and I still couldn't decide so I went for the same like chicken sweet corn soup that I had the other day and I have a lamb sip in this mug that you can't see and then I have a um, Miller rice but the strawberry one today and then the drum roll please uh, the creme de la creme I have a camembert so they do these mini like look how small this is it's a mini this is like normal size baguette that's how big the camembert is. So they do the mini ones in Tesco and they're like £1.50. So I thought this would be my treat. And in total, including the tissues I got over there, it was only like less than £5 for like a really delicious meal. So that was really good. I am back home from work now. It is 20 to 7 and I'm just eating the same soup that I had yesterday. And I thought I'd end the vlog here. This is the last weekly vlog until I come back from Greece. So there's going to be two weeks of literally no video at all. The next video that's after this will be this coming Thursday or Friday, which will be my packing video for med sailors. We're like a week sailing in the Mediterranean. Um, and then there won't be a week, there won't be a vlog next week. And there most likely will not be a video the week after, depending if I might be able to edit one of my Greece videos before then. Because then that will be up on Thursday or Friday. And then weekly vlogs will resume on the 23rd? 22nd? I'll see you again in three weeks time with a new weekly video. If you liked this video, please make sure you subscribe and don't miss out my med series videos. Um, other than that, see you again next time in a new video. Until then, stay safe out there. Goodbye.